Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to that one awkward guy. Today we're going to be continuing our series on Hearts of Iron 4 as India with the Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod. In the last episode we were preparing for our invasion of Turkey or at least that's how we ended the episode and we were very close. I've waited until about a week, a little more than a week before the um, justification will finish. I believe it was the 2nd? I think I want to say it was the 2nd of March. Yes, 2nd of March. Okay, so we're going to unpause it, and on the 2nd of March, the war will begin. I should probably give my guys some um, orders to advance, though, because they I thought I gave it to them last episode, but I guess I am mistaken. Alright, you guys are going to push that way. You guys are going to push to support them. Hmm, how can I do that? Hmm, unless I just put you guys with them. And then, well, I'd have to give you guys your own front line for that. Yes, I will have to give you your own front line. Alright, well, I will make separate front lines. Alright, uh, nope, let's edit that. Oops. For some reason, I feel like I already did this invasion. I don't know why. I just have this feeling like I've already done it. I, I honestly can't describe why, it just feels like I've done it already. Um, let's just change that to, so that we include that port. There we go. And then all of you guys are going to be along this front line advancing. Uh, try to get to Ankara. Uh, ugh, this is all over the place. Let me move this way. No, down. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. And then this force will link up with these guys as soon as they're able. And now they all have some time to make their plans for their assault. And we'll take Turkey and all the factories and such that would come with it. Which isn't really that many actually, but it will give us a position so we can more easily move into Georgia and... Um, Azerbaijan as well. Speak of which, how is Azerbaijan's army? Not that great. Five to six. We should be able to deal with that. What about Georgia? Ah, justification is finished. Can I go to diplomacy, please? Thank you. 45 to 89. How does that work? They have four to six. They have 45 to 89. How does that happen? I mean, let's see. It must have to do with manpower because it's not like they have... Well, they have... Azerbaijan has way more civilian factories, so they'd actually be able to trade for resources and build more quickly, but it must have to do with manpower. Anyway, um, activate and prepare to declare war. Go. Let's see. Well, I hopefully won't need to do this manually. I think my men should be able to do it on their own for the most part. Oh yeah, they're already moving forward. Yeah, mostly infantry, it looks like we're fighting. I'm not seeing a lot of tanks yet. This area is actually struggling a little bit more, though. We're doing very well here, but we definitely appear to be having a bit more issues here. But, uh, no, we're gaining the upper hand. Very good. And we're continuing to push back enemy forces. <clears throat> very good. Looks like we might actually get to cut these guys off, which will be nice. And I'm going to start justifying on Georgia and Azerbaijan right now, actually. Because that might bring us over. Mm, that might, but I think we'll be fine. Probably. Maybe not. But if it goes over, it goes over. I mean, like, NATO's not really that big a threat anymore. They have some people, but they're really. Canada's even left now. NATO's just not even that much of a threat, so not all that worried about it. And Turkey is almost finished. We're about to move into Ankara as our troops continue to make their advance. I'm just worried that they're going to try to hold up in, in, in Istanbul and we're not going to be able to push through. But hopefully we can get there before they make it over there. And looks like we've surrounded these guys. Can we engage them before they retreat? There we go. Overrun. Alright, you guys are still moving up. Good. 
good. Oh, I remember why I feel like I've done this invasion before. I started this episode, and I had started the invasion, and then something came up, and I just had to leave, and it was only like five or ten minutes into the episode, so I'm like, I'm not going to bother editing it together, I'll just re-record it. Ah, that's why I feel like I've done this before. Alright, well, they're probably going to end up just hoarding in Istanbul, so we can probably just nuke it and they'll surrender. Let's keep our troops moving up. Can we cut off reinforcements by... Ah, okay, you guys should be able to do that, yeah. We can take this territory here, we might actually be able to get behind them, potentially. We'll see. I doubt it. But any reinforcements we can cut off, that would be perfect, so. We've cut off these guys from getting there, which is a good portion, uh, about two of their tanks, not actually as many as I thought. But still, we will take anything we can get. Secure this port. Or actually, no, secure this, so that way maybe they'll have a chance. No, they're not going that way. I thought maybe they'd retreat in the port rather than this way, but they're retreating that way, so. We're pushing them back. You guys, help out here. And I want you guys to go ahead and support. And you guys join in. Yes, I'll deal with that after the war. Okay, how about we get you guys there, you guys there. You guys there. Can you get you guys to do that? Thank you. And then I want our entire army's front line to be focused right here. And see if we can push across if we're, or if we'll need nukes. Nope, I think we're going to be able to push right across. And that should cause them to surrender, hopefully. You know what? I'm going to deploy some planes just in case. Get me some fighters as well. There we go. Just because this, even if it's successful, it'll take a while, so. And, um, I don't know how long these are going to take to get how long. Oh! Well, the strategic bombers are already ready. And you guys will be ready now. That gives us air superiority, which means I can go and do that. Boom. There you go. Now they've capitulated. Let's grab up all our territory that we fought for here. Ooh, that's raising world tension a little more than I might like. Ooh, uh, is that everything? I think that's it. Making sure I'm not missing any little islands or something. Hmm, I think that's it. All right. Um, now, oh man, world tension's gonna be going down really slowly now. I'm not sure. We might need to delay one of these wars. When, it, when are they going to be starting? Details. Or not details. Um, 21st of October. So there's a few months. We'll have to see where it is. Um, right now, though, we're going to start allocating these dockyards first. Let's put them in a super heavy battleship. So why not? We just did that in the CSA series, and I don't think we even got to use them. Which I just finished, by the way. I just finished that series. So that's been... That's interesting. Alright, max out everything here. Anything else we can max out? Doesn't look like it. You know what? Let's get another one of these tank production lines. So we have a big deficit to deal with. Resources. What do I need to trade? France, buddy. Is that it? Aluminum. Didn't I just order that? Yes, we're good. Perfect. For research, I said I would deal with this after. I think it's 2024, so there might be some new industry coming up. If we haven't already. Yeah, no, that's way too far away. Maybe here. We can get the next level. We're already researching it. Infantry, then. Sure. There we go. We'll see how far world tension gets down. Ooh, the attrition is real bad here. 
Let's see if we can fix that problem. With our infrastructure project. There we go. And I need to prioritize those ones first. So, what were they? They were these two. Oh no, well, I'll have to actually put those up exclusively after I do all this. Oh, lots of stuff to repair. I feel like this is building up from a few wars. This is a lot. Okay. Now it was you. And where's the other one? It was Trav something. There it is. Perfect. And let's go to construction here. More nuclear reactors, as always. We'll always be producing more. Even though we really don't need to. It's just kind of like, why not at this point? And from there, I just want a ton more civilian factories. We will be building a lot of stuff. Because I don't really need military factories. I don't actually have a use for it. Except maybe we can get radar in here too. We are overbuilding. Our, our production lines are just insane at this point. Okay, there we go. And now it's just going ahead and repairing all that, which is good. And getting the infrastructure up. I'm probably going to end up pulling troops out of here because it's not good. It's really not good. The AI is not doing the thing it normally does where it's like pulls everybody back. Why do we have four submarines there? That's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to go... here. And now, the submarines, that didn't go there, where are they? Mm, you go here. Oh man, the lag right now. Come on, there we go. Alright, you go here. Where are the submarines? Submarines go here. Okay. Now I have to go and move those submarines. Where are they? They're here. Over to that port. Which is over here. There we go. And now they are on their way there. All right, so it looks like world tension's going down at a decent speed. I know the problem I had with the CSA series was it was only going by down by like one, and it was taking forever. This one seems to be going down by faster than that. I'm not sure, though. We'll have to see afterwards. But yeah, we'll declare our war on Georgia first. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to declare war on Azerbaijan first, because I'm not going to be able to break through that very easily. Actually, maybe. This is all artillery. Ar artillery. I think I could actually break through that easy enough. And then surround them. Hmm. Could probably do it. Although it might be smarter to clear war on them first. I think that's what we're going to do. But then, what's the infrastructure like there? Oh, yeah, it's fine. All right. Yeah, move over, uh, move over there. Ooh, and we'll have to maybe send, like, you guys here. That's giving me, like, two cushions. And everybody gets moving. Very, very good. Alright. So you guys are all in position. We'll have two divisions here to secure this. And when does this uh, justification complete? 26th of October. So hopefully world tension will go down considerably by then to the point where I don't need to worry about NATO attacking us. They're really not that much of a threat. I'm just worried that they're going to be doing some naval invasions behind our lines because the thing is, between Spain, let's see, and then Greece, Hungary's not really a threat because they're landlocked, so they can't actually do naval invasions. Well, they can, but they don't have no way to get to their own allies' territory, so... Um, Portugal, and then you look at the U.S. here. They still have some considerable amount of divisions. It, 
wouldn't really threaten me if I were to fight just a general war against them. That wouldn't really be a problem. It's just I'm worried that when I'm busy with a war with Russia, they're going to be like, well, we're at war because of infamy. Or not infamy, I'm thinking Victoria too, too much. Um, because of world tension, and they're just going to do a giant landing somewhere over here where I'm not going to have many troops. I'm just going to have these garrison units. I don't want to risk that happening. There we go. Supply problem has also been solved now. How goes construction? It's going well. Can I... You know, we don't have a lot of civilian factories working on that. Not as many as I'd like. So I want to boost up the production of these civilian factories. Get those all completed. So that way we can produce everything else quite a bit faster. There we go. This, oh, so wow, we can put a lot of troops here again. What is the infrastructure looking like there? Supply, it's the cap. Ooh, we are right at cap. We are literally 210 on 210. And turn off day night cycle. I thought I'd turn that off. Ugh, I don't like it. Day night cycle is so annoying to me. But yeah, so the plan is we hit, we attack Azerbaijan, we take all the land, then we turn around. We deploy some troops here and deploy some troops here in hopes of splitting their army to the point where we can break through. And then we only need to take their capital, which is here, um, Tbilisi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but we'll take that. And then at that point, we will... I mean, I guess do we, we don't really need to worry about world tension. Well, we do still. So I think I'll take Azerbaijan and I'll take Georgia. And then I'll let things cool down let world tension go down to the point where I can justify on Romania. So I'm going to let it go down to zero. So we're going to do that. Okay. I'm just like formulating a plan right now. Um, so then we will start justifying on Armenia because if I justify on Russia, they'll put troops on my border and I don't really want that. I actually might want to take these guys too. Might take these guys as well. Um, but yeah, so then we'll start, once we do all that, we'll justify on Armenia so that way Russia won't put troops on our border. We'll take control of them. Shouldn't be too difficult. They have a decent amount of troops, but I think we can deal with it. And hopefully Russia won't garrison our border and we can push as far into the Caucasus as we can, taking out their oil. So once we take out their oil, which they actually don't seem to have a lot here. They have a lot more in the base game. I think, don't they? They have more oil than that. How much oil? Let me see. That doesn't feel right. If I were to go to oil, they're not even on the board. They're way down there. They're probably importing oil. They're not even here. They're not even exporting. Did I miss something or what? Yeah, they're really not even up there. Wow. What's our oil production? Our oil production is 804. Okay. But we're not exporting because we're on a closed economy. All right. That's interesting. I thought they'd have more oil, so that actually won't cripple them as much as I thought it would. But the idea is between myself and China pushing, we should be able to split their forces to the point where we can beat them. And let me grab up any other reinforcements. We have 130 divisions here. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Look at that. 60 divisions of mechanized infantry. 30 artillery divisions, and 40 tank divisions. That is amazing. I am extremely happy about that. Um, let's see. So we're going to move them onto his army. We're not going to move them there yet. You know what? Might as well. I mean, they, they're not going to enter the actual territory because supply issues, so we should be fine. All right. Oh, what's this? What's that sound? I heard that, and for some reason I thought that meant something bad. I don't know why. I've been recording for like three hours today. I'm starting to lose it a bit. I just heard that sound. What was that sound? You know? Because I thought it meant somebody declared war on me or something. I don't know why. Don't judge me. Okay. So, this war is about to start now. And we might build up some more troops during that time where we're going to be waiting for world tension to go down after these wars as well. But that's probably mostly going to be off camera. It just happened again. What is that sound? Because there's all these different sound effects in the game, and I don't know what they all mean. 
Anyway, this is the 24th I get this one, I think. 26th. 23, 24, oh, George's is finished. 25, <clears throat> 26, there we go. Um, declare War 31. I think we can afford to. Oh, I didn't even give you guys a defensive line. What? Oh, I don't get it. Like, when you want the tr AI to keep their troops... Okay. So they just put all those troops here, right? And everything. But they're keeping these ones out because there's not enough supply. When I want the AI to put all those troops in there, regardless of supply, they're like, no, we're pulling them out. But when I want them to keep it out because of supply, then they leave. Ugh. Like, then they'll keep them in. It's like, oh, you want them out because of supply? Well, we'll put them in. And then when... Okay, and they're not even... Oh, I thought I clicked this. That, what I'm... I'm just rambling now, so that make any sense. What I'm trying to say is, like, these troops are keeping out because of supply. Well, now they're not. But generally, it seems when I want to put my troops in there regardless of supply in hopes of just completely breaking through the enemy, the AI kind of says, screw you, we're keeping our troops out because of supply. But when, oh, okay, can I get, there we go. But when I want them to stay out of the territory because of supply, then they'll throw them right on in there. Oh, this is really, really risky. This is risky. How long do we have on that? How long? We have a month. All right, we're going to have to see after because that's risky. That's actually really, really risky. That might bring it over 45. I'm gonna have to see at the end of this month where we are, because foo foo, I'm not I don't want to risk getting NATO in if I don't have to. So we'll see at the end of the month. Okay, so we're gonna have to split the forces as well now. Are all of our tanks here? We have 68 tanks. I think those are literally all of our tanks. Almost all of our tanks. Okay, so plus you, plus you, plus you, and you. So now you guys all move on to that border. And then we'll move the rest of the guys over to this border. Hmm. Okay, can I just do that really quick so I can select you guys? Yes, that is split their forces relatively decently all right now all of you go wherever you're gonna go i think we might need to just wait because i swear it's so high world tension i don't want to risk it i really don't want to risk it hmm. see at the end of this month we'll know then if we can afford it or not let's see how much is it gonna go down Oh man. 33.7. My worry is I've seen it go up by 10% before, which would bring us to 43.7. And if taking this territory, because how many is it divided into? It's only divided into one. If I were to justify a war goal. Oh, I already have it. Oh, it's so risky. Oh, wow. That's... R Russia's fortified the border. That's for sure. Uh, 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 you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode a little bit early, and I want you guys to let me know. Should I just kind of wait and re-justify, or should we take the risk and just go ahead, declare war, and hope it won't go over 45? You guys can let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.